miniature toilet plungers. I promise I will get to that in just a moment and explain how it's significant to you and your violin teaching. Got them right here just to get you excited, but let's just jump to the chase. When the spirit is fed, the body will work. Let's go over that again. When the spirit is fed, the body will work. The secret to success is to make something fun, make it a game. So one of my favorite books is The Talent Code, where Dan Coyle went all over the world, looked at talent in all different regions, sports, music, etc. And the secret to all the great teachers was that they knew how to make things fun. They made it a game. They didn't make it easier, but they made it a game. Another thing I want to talk about, I'm also reading a book right now called Stealing Fire. Uh, it definitely explains the importance of creativity. So what we're going to talk about, we'll model that, hopefully add a little bit of creativity into your teaching. As a white elephant gift, we received the miniature toilet plungers <laughs> this Christmas. They are designed to go onto a drink so that you can identify, oh, I am the white drink or the pink drink, whatever. And I had them at home for the longest time. And just before I was about to teach a couple weeks ago, I was like, I'm going to just bring them into the studio. I had no idea what I was going to use them for. But we were working on some pizzicato and it turned out that they were just perfect for putting right about there. And we have a piece where we come up and we pizzicato here and we do some with our bow hand as well. So it really gave us an identifiable goal and it was just plain fun. So not always the easiest thing to shift up and down, not always the easiest thing to just change your posture like that or take a finger off of the bow, but when you have a tiny colorful miniature toilet plunger, it makes it really fun. And we're able to get some great work done and immediately just locate that place and have success. So what do you do in your teaching to make it fun? What do you do to model creativity and just keep yourself inspired and fresh in the process? Let me know in the comments below right here. And these are called party plungers in case you're interested. I got, uh, I see them for sale on Amazon. There's a lot of things similar to this. So I'll put a link down below and you can look into these if they're useful for you as well. Thank you so much and we will see you on the next video.